A jury has been unable to decide whether Jack Renshaw, a neo-Nazi who admitted a terrorist plot to kill an MP, remained a member of a banned terrorist group. At the end of his fourth and final trial of the past two years, the full story of those cases can now be told. They drank the regularly. Normally on a Saturday. Often during the week, too. Numbers varied, from only a couple of drinkers to as many as ten. This is the Friar Penkith in Warrington, a busy weatherspoons in the town centre. But the conversation of the drinking party was not that of ordinary lads out socialising, football or work, but focused on far darker subjects, such as their hatred of Jewish and non-white people, their veneration of Nazism and Adolf Hitler, and their fascination with terrorism. On Saturday the 1st of July 2017, several members and former members of the band neo-Nazi organization National Action arrived in the late afternoon. They were joined in the early evening by a youthful looking man whose wide, hostile eyes are in contrast to his slender, timid frame. Almost immediately, the then 22-year-old began complaining about an ongoing police investigation into him for stirring up racial hatred in speeches. There was sympathy for Jack Renshaw among his fellow drinkers. As the evening wore on, he revealed an imminent plan, that if he was charged by police, he would make a political statement by killing his local MP Rosie Cooper. He had already bought a gladius machete, a Roman short sword, to carry out the murder. Hostages would be taken, he elaborated, and he would lure a female detective who was investigating him to the scene by demanding to speak to her. He would then kill her as well. After that, he would commit suicide by cop by advancing on armed police wearing a fake suicide vest, he told the group.